Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see how we're gonna create mass hole trigram. For that, you must have finished the earthwork. I, I will put the, the video link in the description uh, regarding the earthwork calculations and all the volume calculations. I will just put it in a playlist. I've already created a playlist. You make sure you watch that and then come back to see this one. As we have already created our earthwork, now it's time to create them. Okay, so it is present in analyze type here. And over here, you can see mass hole. Okay, so let's click on it and it will show you if you just hover over it it will show you uh, what it actually is okay so as we click on the option option pops up here and here you have option right now we have only one alignment so we have option to select alignment directly from the list or we can pick manually similar for the sample line right now i have only one sample group line so that's not a problem and here you can name your material i will just keep it as default or here you can choose how it will appear this is similar one of the things we have already watched during the settings for uh, multiple uh, styles so i guess you are familiar if you go through my previous video you will understand this so i will just keep it as default for right now and here is a mass view mass hall view style we will customize it later okay and then after that we hit next next we have material list right now we have only one material list uh, you may have many uh, so based on that uh, you just select one and here you have option for either you want total volume mass hole for the total volume or only cut or only fill or total usable or that you have under the material under the material you have i have already calculated the riprap grass and this stuff wherever it's applicable it's just for demo purpose. so i have put it here now for this particular case i will just choose total volume okay so that i see cut and fill everything and here again there's a mass hole line name so you can uh, actually name it based on there's again the same option you have you can uh, base it uh, to understand it better okay again you have option for mass hole line style so this one we will look at uh, look at another later then we we'll let's click on next next you have uh, the balancing options that will be accessible later also but here we just see the introduction so normally uh, around uh, i think uh, uh, so normally for free hole distance like uh, you move your materials it's around 150 to 200 meters so i will just keep it as 100 200 meters for here and if you have any borrow pits or dumping site we will see later how it, it works uh for right now i'll not put it here and let's first create a diagram okay so create diagram and now it will ask you for the placement where you want to place it so maybe we place it somewhere here okay okay as i have placed it it has created the diagram but uh, it's not visible so let's make it visible first so select the mass hole diagram and then go to the mass hole view properties and here on the object style we again create our own uh, style so we'll say uh, we will just copy create a copy of this style okay so copy current selection we'll create a style i will say uh this one tutorial this is mass hole style so m h okay okay let's keep it and then here on the graph you see the vertical exaggeration is 0 0.001 so let me reduce it 10 times 10 times and i will keep it direction this way and let's see how what happens we just say okay and then apply okay now it's much better and visible okay let's now see what it has it is quite visible so i don't think we need uh, other settings perform right now it's better we understand it okay the styles we have already uh, learned extensively about the other so it's not a problem for you if you go through all the videos videos okay so now let's understand it so let's see here i see this this uh, y axis here represents volume and x axis here represents the tendency okay so let's verify at this one is saying it's at 100 meter 100 meter tennis between 0 to 100 meter it's around 2000 cubic meter okay so let's go around 2000 maybe it's it's less than 2000 okay so let's go ahead and check our 100 meter tennis and see how much it is how much is the volume okay so you see here it's around 16 almost 1700 okay cubic meter so it matches okay let's check another point also let's say uh here it reaches from 800 it is around how much it is around 52,000 cubic meter and it's in minus you see so it means it's you have to fill it okay so let's go see 800 800 uh how much it is the tennis is 600 something so we go to 800 it's still in fill okay so it must be 840 so 800 this one is 750 okay 820 800 okay so you see 800 here and how much is the volume required 52,000 something okay so this one also matches now after after this particular point you see after this point between these uh, the grid difference is 100 meter but you see 
here maybe we go and check we don't have this particular is representing this 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 particular in the uh, deep orange color is representing the cut uh, the fill that is the the soil you need you require you know you need and this particular is representing that you can hold because after this point you see after this point there's a cut so you we defined earlier we defined already like the hollow distance to be 200 meter okay so let's see from where the cut starts cut he starts here 880 okay but the cut volume uh the cut volume is small you see uh, 860 the cut volume is small so if we have to have the enough so you see the volume is not enough otherwise it will have balanced okay for this part you see it has been balanced you know the balance is a bit more you know this part the most maybe this part okay so to balance this how are we going to do it okay so maybe we need a uh, borrow pit okay for the areas where we have surplus uh you know fill and the areas where we have a surplus cut we need maybe a uh, dumping site okay so let's click on this muscle diagram and you have balancing option at the top okay so click on it and here we can add a borrow pit so let me add he till here we already know like 52,000 something is required okay so let's add a borrow pit i want to add just, just click on it and you add borrow pit borrow pit you can add the borrow pit and you can say station okay so station maybe i want to put it at uh you see and uh, distance is 200 so I'll put it at maybe 500 let's say i want to put it at chain is 500 and it's around let's say the capacity of the borrow pit is only 30,000 cubic meter okay so let's apply it what happens let's see okay now you see it had changed so where did we apply the borrow pit at 500 okay so you see this particular location is the borrow pit location okay so borrow pit location we have it and it will cover from 200 meters so all the distances from here to here okay and afterwards it's from here to here till 700 okay so till that point it will cover but that is you know in this case it's sufficient to cover and it has even surplus okay but, but for this part it, it's not sufficient and it does not cover so still you have how much almost uh, you see here it's 24,000. You still you need 24 to between 24 to 26,000. So this is how you can plan it. You can add more borrow pit also. Okay. So just this borrow pit just carries uh like already change this balance. Okay. Then maybe at this location you have a lot of cut. Uh, so maybe you need a dumping site. So let's add a dumping site as well and let's see how it affects. So let's add dumping site around uh, which location? Let's say 1500. Okay. So 1500 we add a dumping site so let's add dumping site around 1500 okay and let's say the dumping site uh, is maybe 20000 okay let's just keep it as it is and this okay and you see it dynamically changes furthermore uh, you can you can have a lot of customization option if you just click on it and then go to the master properties and here you have earlier we only used the vertical exaggeration now you have grid so you can click grid okay these options are similar to the profile view customization option. So you have a lot of options to play with. Okay. Uh -huh. So similarly, you can clip the horizontal grid also and title annotation. You can change the size and everything similar, much similar to the uh, profile view option. Okay. And then horizontal axis. So you can customize these stuff. This is all similar to the profile view. You go watch and watch that video. You will be able to customize each and everything here. Okay. Similar. Then we go to the display. So you have a lot of options that you can display. Even you can display your horizontal, vertical geometry, important points of those geometry. Okay. So we can display that. So you can hide these grid lines, you know, major and just display those major points. Okay. That you can do it from here. This is the way. Okay. So for this, I will just keep it like that. Okay. And uh, once we applied everything, you see now it's pad, uh, everything is uh, the padded and the our setting is applied. And you see now it's zero here so now you have minus and plus the trick is here to balance the volume okay right now here you have surplus but afterwards it's it's deficit okay so maybe uh for this extra haulage you might charge the contractors will start for this okay so this is what uh, is the importance of this particular analysis uh there's another thing you see this particular uh, these are only in two colors so what you can do is just click on it and then uh further options go to the mass haulage settings and then uh, information and click on edit and then uh, you have here a free hall also where this free hall to calculate from so this is 
you know indicative and you understand from where it will measure that 200 that we define or whatever you have defined either from the grade point or from the balance point you know so these are the two ways you can uh, define it okay and then here in the display you can change the color you see this color is this and also not just the color you can change the pattern also angle let's say okay let's say okay and apply so you see it is changed here and the overhaul area overhaul area here you can that one you can change as well or user define double hat you no know, custom predefined let's go for predefined and then uh, we can put just oh, maybe clay just like that just for taking it's a demo purpose okay so you see you can define it like that and other properties also you can change easily right now you see here also you have a uh, uh, changes okay so so this is a very useful diagram for planning of the artwork and how much it may cost wherever you need uh, to charge extra so this is very very important diagram so thanks a lot guys for watching the video that's all for this video have a great time like share and subscribe to our channel